All right, guys, so after the holidays, it's time to get back on track. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite salads. It's the buffalo chicken salad. We're gonna make it healthy, nutritious. It's gonna be full of protein and super delicious. So it's just a few ingredients. Now, of course, to make this gluten-free, low-carb, we're actually gonna use a protein powder. So this is just like plain, unflavored protein powder. We're gonna add in all the flavor. We're gonna add in the seasonings. I'm gonna show you what we're doing with that. All you need is your chicken. I already cut these. These are like chicken tenders. Just take out the little tendon. I know some of you say like you don't have to. I'm just kinda weird about that. I don't like that little, <laughs> that little white strip, the tendon. It just like when I bite into it, it gives me funny. Anyway, so that's already prepped cut and then we have our eggs and protein powder so let's go ahead and season our protein powder first so this is just our unflavored protein powder and i'll leave everything linked in the description below so you know what i used okay so we have some onion powder our garlic powder we have italian seasoning Okay, so we're going, we're being very generous with the seasonings because remember this is unflavored. So this is what's gonna add in all the flavor to your tenders. Cannot forget our salt and pepper. And then lastly, we are using some paprika and that's just gonna give it that color. The buffalo chicken salad, of course it's fried and we are making fried chicken tenders, but we're making them low carb. We're gonna use all clean ingredients. Obviously we're doing the protein powder. We're gonna use avocado oil to fry. So everything is clean. Like the buffalo chicken salad that you buy out at a restaurant is super delicious, but it's usually fried in unhealthy oils that are inflammatory. So it's always of course better to make it at home. And this is what you would do exactly like this to make it low carb. Okay, give this a good little mix. You know, you just want to make sure that your protein powder is well seasoned because we're just going to toss in our tenders one, two times and then done. So this is very, very, very easy to make chicken tenders. Obviously we are making a salad out of this, but you could actually make this a full dinner if you want to make like chicken tenders for dinner. This is the same process. Okay, so we have our coating. Now we're going to um, make our eggs. So we're just using two eggs. This is what's going to coat our chicken. Okay, so we're using two eggs, a little salt and pepper. This is what is gonna help coat our chicken tenders so that the protein powder can actually stick to it. So, give that a good whisk. So you don't get your hands all sticky, um, just make sure you use some tongs. And this is just gonna make the process overall just a lot easier for you. So we have our tender, dip it into your egg and right into your protein. So this is your coating. And this is gonna lend for a very crispy, flavorful chicken tender. I'm gonna place it onto the plate. I'm gonna do this for all of these, and then we're gonna move over to the stove and get these fried. Okay, and since we're using protein powder to bread our chicken tenders, you wanna try to fry them immediately just because the texture will change. Like if you do it while it's still powdery like this, you will get a nice crispy texture. But if you let it sit, it will start to kind of soak into the chicken tender and you'll get more of like a, a spongy, a spongy tender. It'll still be delicious, but it does change. So the texture changes. So I already have my oil heated. Let's move over to the stove and I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like. All right, guys, let's see if our protein powder gives us the crisp we want. Ooh, nice and crispy. Okay, so we're gonna give this a good little chop. As you can tell, this is super juicy. Okay, so now that we cut up our chicken tenders, we're gonna toss it in our buffalo sauce. My favorite part right here, it's like so satisfying. Look at that. Mm. Okay, and now let's give it a toss. Guys, this deliciousness. Oh my gosh. 
And I still have more chicken to cook, but I'm hungry, so we are moving it along and look at this, we're about to enjoy this healthy version of a fried buffalo chicken salad. Yum, oh my gosh. Yum. So we have our huge bowl of lettuce ready to go. This is just romaine lettuce. That is the lettuce that's traditionally used with a buffalo chicken salad. So we're gonna start off with our greens. Then we have our cheese. This is sharp cheddar cheese. Then we have our celery for that crunch. And now the star of the show is our buffalo chicken tenders. Oh my goodness, guys, just stop. Just stop right now. And then we have our blue cheese crumbles. Blue cheese crumbles. And then we have our homemade ranch to top it all off. Guys, you're gonna add as much or as little as you want. All right, guys, take a look at this delicious salad. This is a buffalo chicken salad, but of course it is low carb, gluten free full of protein and flavor. Okay, so you would never think this is a healthy salad. The chicken tenders are perfect. They taste like something you would get at a restaurant. They're like restaurant quality chicken tenders. Guys, I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. You guys have to make this salad. It's so delicious. Everything is perfect about this from the dressing to the chicken tenders. Make sure you share this recipe with friends and family. They're gonna love it. I'll also leave some of my other salad recipes in the description below. Make sure you check them out. They're absolutely delicious. They've helped me on my journey throughout all these years. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.